Uh, this one is called The Devil and the Ghost of Captain Edward Smith. And you all know who Captain Edward Smith was. Okay, you will know. Okay, here's how it goes. One last sip of water he drank just before the Titanic sank. Down he went with his ship, tis said, for his maiden cruise with the dead. At the sea bottom watch he keeps of the ships in these briny deeps with his horn warning of danger to friend, to foe, and to stranger. Many has he saved from the fate he shared with his crew on that date, though no one is certain that he yet stands watch here over the sea. Those of us with brine in our veins are sure that it is him who reigns as watchman of these briny depths, for well do we know his footsteps. Here where it is always pitch black, the dead Neptune will not give back, out of sight but not out of mind. In their struggles these old souls find strength to seek salvation, pray tell. In this realm a stone throw from hell. There's nothing to take or to give. Their fateful voyage they relive. Captain Smith always accepts blame. No one ever defends his name. Yet he always walks tall and straight, knowing he's a victim of fate. One day the devil dropped on by to offer him an alibi. Though the captain was much maligned, the devil's offer he declined. The devil grinned and then he said that he was master of the dead. The captain told him he loved God. The devil replied, that's quite odd. Twas him who betrayed you, not me. Here in the dungeons of the sea, for the heavens is God's domain. Below in hell is where I reign. The captain cringed and then replied, no bitterness had he to hide. How by God's will must he abide? That tis not for man to decide. The devil turned a brighter red. Captain Smith chided him and said, Here in the dungeons of the sea, the Lord shall set my spirit free. The devil scoffed at his reply, clenched his teeth and let loose a sigh. How by God's will can you abide? The devil laughed so hard he cried. He said, God is deaf dumb and blind, merely a figment of your mind. He'd save your soul if he were real, if he could touch and he could feel. The captain said he still loved God, even though some might call it odd. For the day would come, he knew, when the Lord's light would shine right through the darkness he had known so long, like the words to an age-old song, whose melody no one forgets, no matter how late the hour gets. Very well, the devil replied, let's leave it for God to decide. From this time hence your destiny, let your Lord set your spirit free, or leave it for eternity here in the dungeons of the sea. The devil turned a fiery red and offered a toast to the dead. The captain bid him a farewell upon his journey back to hell. Before the devil departed, these forsaken parts uncharted, the glimmer could the captain see of a light shining intensely from the kingdom beyond the sea shining for all eternity. Ooh. Thank you.